I would say that we were very good at the boring jobs. <laughs> so there were guys that they would say, okay, uh, my job is to drive the truck, because in real life they drove the truck. And there was the guy that, you know, when you're playing with just a bunch of 14-year-old kids online, it's like knowing that that person's going to be in the turret of the Humvee when you come back. I wouldn't have a whole lot of trust in that. But when I'm doing it, and the kid that really was the gunner for a truck, when I dismount the truck to go assault an objective, and it's the same guy, we know that we're going to have a driver that's playing security on the truck as well as a gunner that's going to be supporting us. And I know those guys in the real world. They did the job for real in the real life, and they're supporting us. It, I don't know, maybe it was unfair to all the, the poor 14-year-old kids of the world that we all worked together and then came in and did the job. But uh, just the basic, like the battle drill 1 alpha, uh, strike 1, strike 2, where you put down a support by fire and then you have a, another element move around and flank, if you can do that reliably in a video game, no one can stand up against you. It doesn't matter how good that guy is individually, uh, because there's one thing that we're very good at, it, and it's learning to fight unfairly. So it's like we're, we're always looking for that advantage. There's no such thing as that fair fight. And so the fair fight is where you get it in arcade-based games, where it's, okay, I've got a submachine, and you've got a submachine gun. We're running around, and I'm hopping up and down, and it's like playing Halo. Uh, versus like, cool, well, if you want to have a submachine gun and run around and be really quick, I'm going to have two guys with uh, light machine guns that are going to keep you from being able to hop up and down and run around. I'm going to have two other guys that are going to go out 100 yards and bound around you, and they're going to cover each other with fire until uh, they kill you dead. So it's, uh, and hopefully that gets imparted in this game with the play where people use all of the, the perks of being able to mark targets and sensors and all of these things to where they can uh, disable uh, the poor 14 year old kid from being dominant, and you can have you know four guys like me that are just kind of old and crotchety and angry. They can go in there and use some rudimentary teamwork and really burn them down. So.